G'day everyone, it's Matthew Scudder from SkySight and we're here today to talk about the route forecast. So we're looking at the weather in Namibia today because it's a little bit bleak everywhere else for thermal soaring. So the most important thing about the route forecast is to make sure you have the right aircraft type selected. So we're flying a sailplane and if you're flying a, let's say, a typical sailplane, we should set the correct pilot factor as well. So when we're logged into the settings here, we can choose the index for our glider, so we can say we're 100. 100 means we're roughly the same performance as a Ventus 2, and higher numbers indicate a high performance glider, and lower numbers indicate a lower performance glider. So we've picked ourselves back at 100, so it's going to give us roughly speed figures for that Ventus 2. So first we click Route Forecast, we choose our starting location, we're going to choose Mariental. And then we get given would we like the choice, would we like to draw our own task, so we can click some turn points here, or we can ask it to suggest a task for us. So we're going to ask it to suggest a medium triangle task. You can choose larger tasks if you want, however it can take quite some time to think about it if you choose a very long task. So we'll just give it a medium task, let it think for a moment. And there it's suggested a 500k task for us. We can see the little cross section it's drawn for us of that task now. And as we move the cursor around this task, we can see the pointer moves around the map as well. Showing us the progress around the task. And we've got on this chart here, we have the soarable height in red, the condensation layer in pink, it's a little bit hard to see it and the top of thermals, which is the top of clouds as well in this case, in black there. And if you look closely, you can see the layer between the condensation layer and the top of thermals layer is filled in in grey. That's the area of cloud. So now we've seen the suggested task, we can also see the different start times it suggests. So for all the different half hour steps through the day, we can see how long it thinks it'll take us to complete the task and what kind of speed we'll do. So if we click on the one o'clock task, it's going to think for a little bit longer and there we have not only is this automatically updated from 1 o'clock to 5.30 here for us, we can also see this black line which shows us the optimal track around the task. So in this case the weather is quite homogenous, uh, so the optimal track is basically point to point. Uh, but sometimes if there's a convergence or much better conditions one side of the task than the other, the software is clever enough to understand that and will try and route you around it. And it will even consider things like airspace or um, dead areas or as many phenomena as possible. So if we're not happy with the task it's suggested, we can instead draw our own task. So let's click a little task from Mariental to, I think that might be Bitavasa, and back to Mariental again. And it's going to think for a little while there. We can see it's a 216 kilometer task. It's already drawn the optimal route there for us. You can see as we move through the weather changes underneath the map. If we think we're going to start it at 2 o'clock and finish it at 4.30, we just move this slider here to that time range, whereas this slider here controls the base map underneath. And if we want to see what the computer thinks of our task, we can just click whichever time we'd like to start and it'll automatically update the start time we click and the end time based on the calculation. So here we can see it's suggesting we go quite a bit off track. Uh, it looks like possibly the thermals are a little bit weaker in this area here. We can actually have a look at the XC speed chart, which is actually showing us the chart of the speeds it thinks we're able to do and now we're able to see why it wants us to go off track there. So it thinks there's much faster conditions out to the side here. Probably thinks there's going to be some cumulus there. And if we go out via the cumulus and back to Mariental through the cumulus again, we're going to have a much faster run than if we went point to point. If we don't want it to follow optimized track, we can also click point to point. And now it's instead going to follow straight along that track line and give us the weather cross section uh, ignoring the optimized route. Another cool thing we can do is download our task. So we just click download and then we can choose would we like it as an XCSaw file? Would we like is it a cup file? And if you're a paragliding user with XC track, you can also get it as an XC task or as a QR code you can download onto your phone. 
Another really cool feature is the ability to just press play here, and this is going to drop us into three dimensions. And it's going to fly us around that task, updating the weather underneath as we fly around to give you an idea of what you're actually going to be seeing from the cockpit. Um, if we want to edit the task, we can either use the little handles here, so you can see these little dots you can drag to move the task line around and make it as complex or as simple as we like. And it'll keep updating that profile through the task as well as the optimal track line and optimal start times. And if we want to start again completely, we just click the red X then go back to route forecast and we start drawing again. It's as easy as that.